And it's Brooke Gordon. How are you? And it, there's just two siblings in our family. It's just Josh and I, or two brothers. I've never had a, a sister, but I feel like I do now. Sarah Short, she just needs no introduction. Sarah. that we have to continue to live every day without our loved ones and that we have to stand out here two years later. Um, when I was still in prison, the most frightening thing for me was having no idea when I would see my family again. I was afraid that I would come out of prison and find my mother hollowed out from the pain and the suffering of having me torn away from her. But my mother is standing here with us today. And I came out of prison and I found her fighting like a lion. I found Shane and Josh's families and all of our supporters fighting, steeped in pain and anxiety, but fighting. And there's nothing that could have prepared Shane and Josh and I for what happened to us that day when we were detained hiking somewhere around the border of Iran and Iraqi Kurdistan. It was like a wrecking ball hit our lives. And two years later, I can't believe that they're still there. I miss everything about Shane and Josh, every second of every day. I miss Shane's smile. I miss the way that Josh's laugh brings joy into my heart. I miss being able to comfort them to brighten their day with a joke or a song. I miss the peaceful moments of prayer that we share together. Um, above all else, I miss the positive impact they have on my life and on so many people's lives, so many of you that are standing here today. Um, she and Josh are compassionate people. Can we see this sign again? Would you just raise it up? It's time for compassion. They meant absolutely no harm when they decided to travel to Kurdistan with me. They're no threat to the Iranian people or their enemy. Through teaching, environmentalism, and journalism, that both Shane and Josh have used their short, beautiful lives to do good in the world and to be part of building bridges between cultures and peoples and ideologies. Now Shane and Josh are waiting for one of those bridges. They need bridges more than ever because they need a bridge to bring them home and to lead them to freedom. They were detained and arrested, as you all know, under the exact same circumstances that I was. But nearly a year later, they're still sitting in that same small, cramped cell. I remember a year ago sitting in the open air room where Shane and Josh and I were allowed to spend a little time together eventually each day. And they were my lifeline. They are what kept me from completely sinking into the abyss of my own despair. And a year ago, it was, it was a very difficult day for us. We couldn't believe that we were still in prison. And I, I know that this is a difficult day for Shane and Josh, and I know that they're imagining something like this right now and that's what makes it easier for them. It's what gave us strength, knowing that people would come together and stand by us, stand by them, and, and be a voice for them. So I know what it's like to lose my freedom, and I know what it's like to have two people that I love stuck inside prison. And honestly, some days, I don't know what's worse. The wrecking ball that hit Shane and Josh and I that day, it hit our family. It hit our friends and everyone that we've ever met. But we don't give up. When our loved ones are suffering and we don't know if they're safe, we never, ever give up. We live off hope every day and we never give up. 
And above all else, tragedy shows us what we're made of. It shows us how interconnected all of our lives are, and it shows us just how much we love each other. So our families want to take this opportunity to wish um, Muslims in Iran and Muslims all around the world a blessed Ramadan. Um, Mahe Ramadan Mubarak. I am very much have been touched and moved by Islam, and the month of Ramadan is a beautiful time. And it's a time that I hope and pray that Muslims around the world will be thinking of Shane and Josh and will make room for them in their prayers. We're here today to express our hope that the time has come for compassion to be shown to these two innocent men. Bad things happen to very good people, but no one wants to stay bogged down in the past. I know in my heart that when Shane and Josh walk out of prison, they'll have no animosity and no bitterness in their hearts. I pray that that day is very, very soon. I know that when I last saw them, their hearts were filled with love. Eleven months ago, two years ago, if anything, when Shane and Josh walk out of prison, they'll have more love and more compassion than when they went in. Thank you very much.